Hello and welcome to this first opinion veterinary ultrasound case. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. This case was a 17 year old male entire domestic short haired cat with a history of mild regenerative anemia, moderate to hypoalbuminemia, marked neutrophilia and increased ALT and a moderately increased ALKP. So here we're looking at um, intestines. Um, it's quite a skinny cat, so we can see quite a lot of the abdomen a lot of the time. So there was this focal um, um, swelling on the on the um, intestines here that was spotted. Just a small thickening in the um, wall layer there, <clears throat> with a slight loss of wall layering also, but very quickly followed to normal gut as well. We also noted multiple um, quite prominent lymph nodes, although they weren't enlarged, they were quite hypoechoic um, and, and lots of them. Here we're just seeing a mirror image artifact. Because the cat is so skinny, we're actually hitting the table and then this is a mirror image artifact. Again, more lymph nodes seen in the abdomen, more here. And measuring them, they're under the half centimetre that we worry about um, as a thickness guide in cats, but um, important to be aware as there were so many. So fanning through um, the abdomen, we're seeing um, lots of these lymph nodes. Also see the kidneys and how close they are in a um, skinny cat. And we can see the liver here, cranial in the abdomen. Here we're starting to be concerned. There just appears to be a lot more um, anechoic tubes in the liver than we'd expect. And we need to understand whether those are bile ducts or whether they are um, um, vessels. Again, this large lymph node, the two kidneys, and these uh, anechoic tubes in the gall, in the bladder, in the liver. Sorry. More fanning through the abdomen, and we can see that swelling on that bit of intestine. That's a focal thickening in that wall of the intestine there. Measuring that. Um, thickened wall is coming up at uh, 0.7 centimetres, which is far thicker than um, intestinal wall should be in the cat. Here we've got the liver um, and the gallbladder there, and we're just investigating these um, anechoic tubes for flow. Um, we can see some of these don't have flow in them and are probably bile ducts. There we could see uh, anechoic tube, um, which doesn't have flow in it, um, is likely a thickened bile duct. So this bile duct is measuring at 0.22 centimetres. It's also, uh, they appear quite tortuous. There may also be a bit of free fluid around here as well. Um, so these bile ducts are, are, are certainly tortuous and, and enlarged. And we can really see from the gallbladder here how this bile, common bile duct um, is very tortuous um, down here. following these tortuous bile ducts, just checking that there's no flow and that what we are actually seeing following is the bile duct. We can follow it up towards the duodenum.
So focal masses in the small intestine in cats can be due to neoplasia or inflammatory bowel disease. This area was currently too small to feel confident about taking a fine needle aspirate from. I was also concerned about the multiple lymph nodes, which although they weren't enlarged, they were very prominent and hypoechoic. There was also evidence of chronic cholangitis with tortuous bile ducts and some reactive fat surrounding the tissue. We didn't find an obstruction. So a working diagnosis of chronic cholangitis and IBD uh, was consistent with the ultrasound scan. We hadn't ruled neoplasia out and biopsies would be the next course of action. Mm -hmm.